Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and once more it's that time for some weekly painting progress. And sadly, whenever October hits, that means it's crunch time. October and April are my big crazy months between conferences with parents at work. We have Undokai at Asahi Gakuen and a million birthdays and parties to attend to. Things just kind of get hectic. So there isn't a whole lot of time to paint, but... We do make time, regardless. So here's one I've been working on for a while. This is Gadrock of Doomrock, I think it was. Anyway, he's one of the survivors that comes with the Giga Lion from Kingdom Death. He's one of the survivors included. And he just he's so fabulous looking that he needed to have some fabulous hair to go with that awesome getup he's got. So I got him done. And in case you aren't familiar, super much with uh, Kingdom Death models, they do tend to be kind of big, so keep that in mind. And along with Gadrock, we got the Sci-Fi Urza done. She's one of the... No, she wasn't. I was going to say one of the Death High models, but she's not. She's part of the Sci-Fi line that Kingdom Death does. Um, this model, as much as I like the sculpt, had the worst scan lines that I have encountered on a Kingdom Death model yet. And I'm just trying to see if I can get them to show up. And you can see it kind of there on her hand. It was really, really bad. And despite layers and layers of paint, I still couldn't clear it all out as good as I tried. And I did a really sloppy job with whatever that thing is. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. I'm just kind of bummed out about the quality. This is probably the worst cast model I've got. And considering it was supposed to be one of their death gray resin ones or whatever it was and they screwed that up and thankfully took care of that finally for me but uh, the whole thing just left me with a very sad distaste in my mouth but she turned out okay not fantastic just okay i think gadrock turned out better so i got her done what else so it's been frustrating trying to get the models i wanted to get finished these two have been there for a while this model is one of raging heroes um Howling Jackals, I believe they were called. And she turned out all right. I think overall the model came out okay. I did a horrible, and I mean horrible, job on her face. Ugh, look at that. The paint just smeared and dripped, and I just don't have the heart to go back and fix it. But from a distance, when she's in focus, I think it looks okay. Obviously, she's totally a Escher model. I mean, it, it's just, I didn't have any extra Necamunda bases, so I just kind of cobbled something together so she's finished she was kind of my test bed i haven't actually painted any escher yet so she was kind of my trial run before i begin everybody else and then i got this dude done and he is an enigma model enigma i believe is from spain originally and i have no idea what he's called <laughs> which isn't very helpful i'll try to find out and put it in the description down below and I just now realized that I never went back and fixed that skull. I was going to put a wash on it, but I never bothered to. So he's obviously a big bad chaos warrior. I painted him in quite nurgly colors. At first I had tried using some contrast and it really didn't even show. And then we went back and just made a washy mess of the whole thing. I like this model. I like it a lot. And I got it for a good price, so I can't complain there either. And he's quite big. I mean, when he's almost the same size as a Kingdom Death model and they're on their big plinthy like bases yeah i mean that's the kind of proportions that i expect a chaos warrior to have he looks big he looks bad he looks tough so not a whole lot actually completed this week sadly a whole ton of stuff started um with the new bones campaign starting i figured it was time to dust off models from the last four campaigns that i still haven't finished so we got started on a bunch of those and finally opened up my bones for, that was fun. And hopefully we'll have some finished products, projects, not products, projects to show next week. Um, next week's going to be a fun one too because we have more birthdays and more stuff going on with Japanese school. So we're still going to try to get some theme finished. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got more to show off. Sadly, this is week is a little sparse, but... It took me a while to get here as it is. So hopefully I will do a better job. Hopefully you guys will as well. And with that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying keep those brushes going and hopefully do a better job than me. See y'all later. Bye-bye.